Hi, this is Randall Whiteman. Today I'll be answering a question from one of our YouTube subscribers. We'll be using Epicor ERP version 10 using the standard demonstration environment. If you would like me to show you more detail on any aspect of this video, feel free to leave a comment. OK, let's get started. So Roland asked the question, is it possible to have the part using, for example, EA, the each is unit of measure, in unit and sell this part with another unit like SF for square feet? So we'll go into the part maintenance in the demo environment in Epicor and I've found a part AS-036. So we'll have a look at the unit of measure class. We'll right click on that. The class is sheet stock. Go over to unit of measure class entry and on the unit of measures tab in the list we'll see we have a conversion from square feet to sheets. Now this particular Conversion, uh, the default, there is no default conversion factor in the detail. This conversion has been marked as part specific, which means the conversion is held on the part maintenance against the individual part. So I'll close down unit of measure class, go back to part maintenance, and it'll be the conversion factor itself will be on the UOMs tab. Before we go there, we'll have a look on the detail tab, the primary unit of measures. So this, is, this part is marked with the inventory in sheets, so it's held in inventory uh, per sheet, but it's sold in square feet. The SF unit of measure has been uh, chosen as the sales primary unit of measure. Okay, so we'll go over to the UOMs tab, and in this tab here we have a square foot unit of measure. One square foot is equal to 0 0.1 sheets. So when we sell one square foot of this product, we're going to decrement of from inventory 0 0.1 sheets. Okay, now let's go over to the part on hand status and we'll look at, look at how many are in inventory currently. Part on hand status warehouse in the main warehouse is showing 294 uh, quantity that's in sheets in the inventory unit of measure. All right, let's close down the part on hand status and let's go and raise a sales order and then ship it. So we'll create a new sales order for our customer Addison. Okay, and they are going to need it today. And let's create a new line. The part AS. Dash zero three six. We are going to sell thirty square feet, and rather than set up pricing and every other uh, aspect of the system, we're just going to force in a unit price of ten. So let's save the sales order, and we'll go over to customer shipment entry. We'll create a new pack, put our order number in. And we're going to mass ship. Now we'll see down here the inventory ship quantity, how many we have shipped. It's shown in sheets. So we're going to ship all. And we can see here, although we sold 30 square feet, the part specific unit of measure conversion has converted that to decrement three sheets from inventory. When we click the shipped button up here and the status moves to shipped, now that stock has been decremented from inventory. Let's go and see that through part maintenance back in the part on hand status and we'll see the warehouse it now has 291 so there were 294 and three were decremented from inventory. So here we see how we can use two units of measure for the same part one for inventory and one for sales. So Roland, thank you very much for the question. And if uh, anyone has any more questions, please uh, feel free to add a comment. Thank you. See you next time. This was a Whiteman Online presentation. For more great content, subscribe to the Whiteman Online YouTube channel and visit the website. I look forward to seeing you soon at Whiteman Online.